The Ravens continue to play. They move mm -hmm. on and taking on the Chargers this week. Rex, your biggest takeaway from what you saw out of Baltimore yesterday? Well, I agree with John. I mean, you know, he's bragging about his team, and, and the, the team is greater than the sum of its parts. They understand how you play team football and complementary football. They're doing it as well as anybody right now. And, and I think that the change is, it's funny, because Baker Mayfield gets the, uh, the touchdown. He does all this kind of stuff. But, you know, let's give Don Martindale, this defensive coordinator, his props. The number one defense in the league. And you know why? Because they got the guts to challenge you. And, and at the, they go four straight cover zero blitzes. If any separation whatsoever, they're going to lose the game. But you know what? Quickly, they're like, cover we're zero, for it. those who don't know, it means straight man coverage. There, there's nobody, no center fielder, no nothing. They're bringing everybody. You got a free runner at the quarterback. And they're going to challenge Baker to, to, uh, to get rid of the football, which he did. Had some decent passes. But you know what? That's how you're going to go down. So many teams in the NFL, David, yep. will sit back and let's just hope they miss the field goal. No, that, that's not the, the Raven mentality. It's never been the Raven mentality. And I, I think just seeing it right there and, the, the, you know, just the guts it took by Don Martindale in that defense, I, I mean, I love watching it. What's interesting here, the, the interception by C.J. Mosley, he's blitzing. And then he backs off because he's – tell us what the linebacker is supposed to do on that play. So as Rex can sit there and tell you, you want to, you want to make sure that every rusher is accounted for. C.J. Mosley rushes in there, pulls and draws the block of the guard, then cops out so they have a free rusher so that they can get to Baker Mayfield. He has to throw it quick. Mosley backs out. But the one thing that is a little concerning for this Ravens defense is they've been lights out, and they have to be lights out for them to win because they're predicated off running the football and playing great defense. But this is a Browns team that put 500 yards up on them. Baker Mayfield missed a couple of throws down the stretch, or it could be the Steelers that are in the playoffs. So as good as they've been playing, I don't know if they've necessarily been exposed but you have a rookie quarterback there, the Cleveland Browns. And, and these aren't the classic Cleveland Browns that we've seen the last 20 years. But still, a little, little bit of concern there in Baltimore if I'm John Harbaugh. All right, let's have our NFL insider Lou Riddick here join the conversation. Uh, Lou, you heard what Bobby just said. The Ravens were not great defensively yesterday, and that's their calling card moving yeah. into this postseason. What do you make of this team as a contender in the AFC? Well, I think that, you know, the key word there, again, is just that it's team. You know, even, well, even though the defense, which is the obviously the, the phase that really drives the bus here for this football team, although maybe they, from a yardage standpoint they weren't on it uh, as hard as they normally are as far as being a shutdown type of defense, what they did is they wound up picking it up on offense. They, co they controlled the ball for almost 40 minutes, ran the ball for almost 300 yards, and made enough plays – on the offensive side of the ball, on special teams, and then on defense at the end of the game to still win the game. So I'm not going to say they've been exposed. I will say this, though. When you play, you know, high-risk, high-reward defense like they do, and as, you know, Rex alluded to, and that's because they are willing to challenge you, which is the only way you can slow down high-powered offenses that can spread you out with five wides and throw the ball over the field, you're going to get got sometimes. Sometimes they're going to get you. It's just that, you know, you just hope that in the end you get them more than they get you, and the Ravens have done that pretty much all year long. So I'll just say this. One day, one now that they're in, look, this, this running game is very, very difficult to defend because they can make so many things look the same and have so many options off of it. So you don't really know what's coming at you. As long as Lamar can hit opportunistic big plays over the top off of play action, which he has shown that he can do, just look back at the Chargers game, and the defense will play better than they played yesterday. They had some coverage busts early in that football game that cost them big plays, which are not – you know, a result of them not being talented enough. They are just that. They're bust. They're mental errors, and that happens. That's the quickest way to lose football games. As long as they get those things corrected, this is a team you don't want to play because people don't like playing smash mouth anymore. People don't like going the long, hard way to win football games. And this team has a lot of resiliency. This, this team takes on the, the attitude of their head coach, and that is something I think is very uncommon in the NFL to play that style of football.